man, it was really hard to find parking here. It was just like, it was a bushwhack to get into the parking lot. Crazy. Today we're going to do Heart Mountain. We're going to go to, oh man, I can't remember the name of the peak. Okay, I looked it up. So we're going to do Heart Mountain. We're going to do Grant McEwen Peak, uh, which is actually higher than Heart Mountain. Weird. Why is the peak higher than the mountain? Anyway, to, uh, there's a twin summit thing. It's two unnamed peaks, and that overlooks um, Barrier Lake in Kananaskis, which is on the other side of this mountain range. So that'll be cool to look in there. So according to the sign, the trail is closed for, quote, reclamation. I guess that's technically true. They're still recovering from the flood. Ah, yeah, this is okay. Whenever there's a sign like this, it uh, means that it's a scramble that far too many people do, and they shouldn't be doing it. Here's some typical terrain for the first little bit. It's uh, some exposed rock. Lots of different routes people have kind of carved in just over the years. Heavy traffic. It's a little slippery. Um, slipperier than you'd like to be on if it was wet. And I would also recommend either getting an early start or a little bit of a later start. Because I'm heading uphill and the sun's just constantly in my eyes. It's actually quite annoying. Yeah, there's the Lafarge cement plant, the hamlet of Eggshaw, Lake d'Arc, the Bow River is separated by that little concrete berm there. Eeyore is the peak right there. Haling is that peak there. Miner's Peak, Lawrence Grassy, Ship's Prow. All right, so I just climbed, went, climbed. I used, I didn't use my hands. This kind of steepish section. Um, yeah, so we're basically just trying to bypass this head wall here. Some exposed roots. Uh, in general, try not to step on roots because they damage the trees and um, eventually the roots will die. And then when the roots die, they stop holding the soil and then the trail roads. So do your best to not step on the roots. The roots appreciate it, the trees appreciate it. And so do all the people that come after you because the trail will be in better condition. And watch out for this branch. I just hit my head on it. That really hurt. Lost a lot of brain cells. Watch your head. Okay, we're at the head wall. The terrain kind of funneled me here, so you can't really miss it. Plus this is something, and there's another one up there. So I'm just gonna go there um, and over the head wall. Ah, yeah, oh, that sun is annoying. I love you, but Get out of my face, bro. Okay, so um, went up that little bit. The chains are gone. Uh, there's definitely two uh, stems that are still in, but uh, the chains and the hangers and everything are just gone. I don't know, five two, five three. Yeah, so up over the Croxy bet. Um, that way, it looks like. I mean, I don't know. You can see we're getting something. There's Yamniska. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I've never actually seen that mountain not from a vehicle before. Um, which is cool. Uh, there's the construction site where we started um, as a sense of scale. So we just kind of came up this rib here through the woods and no bears and just me. All right, so past the crux. Now we're onto this kind of bouldery scree stuff. I see a blue arrow pointing this way and I see a blue arrow pointing up over there. So we're gonna zigzag up and head over there. So this is cool. I haven't ever had this view before. Um, out to the foothills and um, Calgary's over there somewhere. Kind of, kind of cool to uh, be, I guess, almost out of the Rockies here. Yeah, kind of, kind of weird. It kind of makes me feel kind of strange. I don't really like it very much, actually. Um, I don't really want to ever head that way. Um, kind of just want to head west. Right here's another interesting section. Again, we have the blue marker there and a blue marker there. So we head up through this. All right. So this, I guess, would be the summit. I believe this is the first summit I've been on in my life that has trees on it. So we're doing the horseshoe with the addition of some Twin Peak thingamajiggers. But I believe that's Grant McEwen Peak. That's a subsidiary peak that's unnamed. Um, and that and that are two Twin Peaks. Climb this thing in front of me, then go to those Twin Peaks, bag the two Twin Peaks, um, traverse back, um, and then do Grant McEwen unnamed and come back and then connect with the trail that I was on and back to the bike and then bike back. Now we can see the connecting ridge between Grant McEwen and those uh, Twin Peaks over there. All right, 
So, making my way through the woods here on this really narrow ridge, actually, that's very heavily treed. Um, this is really nice. In the shade. I feel kind of cozy in here. This is, uh, this is nice. I like this. Right here's another nice little view of the rest of the afternoon. Um, so we go up the ridge to Grant McEwen. Um, then we traverse this ridge here, climb up some apparently steep steps over there um, to the two Twin Peaks. A beautiful spot here. Uh, this valley is gorgeous. Grab McEwen. Ian, let's go nab those two peaks. It looks pretty nasty. So I think that's uh Whoa! What is that? Oh, that's Barrier Lake. Cool, let's get over there and uh, have a good look at uh, some more Kananaskis awesomeness. This, this actually looks really bad, I'll be honest with you. Um, it looks really bad. It looks terrible. Uh, this face here and that face there it looks miserable but i believe i'm at the crux now which is this down climb uh, yeah let's uh go down and have a look and see what's going on there is apparently one step that to get there you need to down climb and then the rest is not too bad and um, so this would be it apparently it's about five meters of down climbing pretty cool i just down climbed that um it wasn't hard but it wasn't easy either it was kind of hard to find feet actually because it's all kind of sloping um, very solid rock, super grippy. Uh, do not do this in running shoes. You, you, you'll have a rough time. All right, um, that's the crux done, apparently. Um, it still looks pretty cruxy over there. So I'm a lot closer to the first of the Twin Peaks. Um, that's Grant McEwen over there. Hmm, is that the head wall we down climbed? It is. Looks just as gnarly from here as it did from there. Um, here we are on the ridge. Indeed, this does not look quite as bad as it looked from before, but it still looks bad. Um, not great, anyway. Uh, yeah, so this looks to be the narrowest part of the ridge here. Um, not too bad. Exposure's not miserable. Um, not worried about any of it. Um, I will probably stay high on the rocks because I don't like slipping scree. I like being on rocks and that makes me feel comfortable and safe. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm on this little slab here. Uh, I don't know, 25, 30 degrees. Don't do this when it's wet, but you already knew that. Um, using the old French technique here. Front pointing with the front foot and plieing with the back one. I can't remember what it's called, but. Take the pressure off the Achilles and the calf of the lower leg. Then you switch, and they both get to take their turn suffering a little bit, but in the hole, you're resting one leg at a time, which is pretty great. And here's some more excitement, oh boy. Definitely, oh boy. Definitely, definitely, oh boy. Okay, so I'm at another challenging section here. This is doable. It looks worse from this angle than it is, um, I, I would assume. Let's see, I don't wanna go up that scree slope because the scree is exposed, and if for whatever reason I start sliding, um, there is a cliff at the bottom of the scree, which I don't like the idea of. I'd rather climb in that corner than climb above an exposed cliff with loose scree. But I'm gonna go down and have a look. Okay, so this looks to be about 45 degrees of mid-size bouldery scree. <sighs> There's definitely been activity here. I saw a, f a hoof print. I haven't seen anything that looks like a human's movements. Um, this is super exposed. Um, that's a that's a cliff right there. Um, I think if I stay on this side, close to the rocks, I have bailout options if it gets really bad. I am gonna try this. It looks to me like, because the water, water would run there and there's definitely something beat in here. So I think the goats are going up this. I feel slightly better about this than I do the um, climb up around that corner. It's nice to be out and it's nice to be up. I have my little sombrero on. Uh, keep the sun off the ears. Um, I ran into a branch somewhere and it Charlie horsed my uh, right thigh. Um, so that's bothering me. It's gonna bother me on the descent and probably on the bike ride, but whatever. I tried snapping the branch off. It would have none of it. It only wanted to cause pain, not give me any joy. So, up I go. 
Okay, so I went up a fair bit of it, um, let's say halfway up the gully. Um, it was getting looser and kind of harder to walk on, so I'm traversing across the gully now. I'm gonna gain this. I might have to traverse the street up again there, but I feel better traversing it than going straight up it. Plus there's a bit of a ledge here, so it looks like the goats have kind of figured this out. Um, and I tend to do what the goats and the sheep do because <laughs> they spend more time out here than I do. This is bomber. God, I love goats. It smells like sulfur or something up here. I don't know. Let's see what's going on. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to shoot up this. What's this yellow? Is that sulfur or is that goat pee? If it's goat pee, you should really be drinking more. Okay. Up past wherever it was. Now to a place where the goats don't bother going. Just... That sounds hollow. I don't like that. All right. Woo! Woo! So this is the first of the Twin Peaks. I assume that's the second one. There is something on the summit. I guess I will go there. And there's a piece of rebar here. Most interesting. There we go. Third peak of the day. Not bad, not bad. I don't know what to do here. Give me a minute. I don't know if this is the way down to get to that ridge, but I'm going to go this way. This looks kind of scree and exposed. This looks kind of not scree and slightly less exposed, but pff, what the hell do I know? Yeah, we still have a pretty big day. I gotta get back there and then there. Yeah, it's a big day. Probably hard to see with the heat distortion all over the plains and all the other stuff, but I think I see some buildings there that are almost certainly Calgary. All right, that is the thing I just down climbed. Um, I have no idea where to go now. This is nice, there's a crow waiting for me on the uh, summit. Cool. I am here, summit number four for the day. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. God, I still have to bike back to Canmore. Kind of weird and wonderful something or other. That lake is a gorgeous. So this is uh, Kananaskis 40. I believe that connects to the Smith Dorian over there somewhere. So according to this one page of the summit register, the other thing is really old. It's been a week since someone's been here. Yep. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, it's uh, quite the summit view here. Definitely significantly higher than all the other peaks that the normal people do. Very nice. Okay, so that's the peak I was just on. I've come down. I've decided to bypass the first of the twin summits. Um, I noticed a small, I don't know, whatever I'm on now. Uh, I've seen some signs of goats, some hoof marks and whatnot. They tend to come this way, so I feel pretty good here. Looks kind of interesting, but uh, I feel pretty good here. Um, and I'm in the shade, which is a nice change. Um, anyway, so that bypassed a huge amount of uh, regaining vert and sketchy up and down climbing and I believe this bypasses a very large chunk of that scree slope. Um, here's a willow tree. I'm going to make sure not to step on any of this thing because um, it is probably older than me and <laughs> doing its damnedest to try to survive here. Okay, so looking back at what we just did, um, so on the approach to the summit, this is the first summit here, I went up the scree here and then traverse to this notch, and then there's another gully there, and I went up that. It looks bad, uh, it's not as bad as it looks. It's still bad, but it's not as bad as it looks. And now I just, looks terrible again, but I skirted on the side of this cliff um, with lots of exposure um, to bypass having to reclimb the summit and go down that scree scope, the slope, which I had no interest in doing because it goes over a cliff at the bottom, and if I went too fast or fell or something, it could have been ugly. So that was, um, that was fun. I'm glad I did that little bit of root finding and whatnot. Oh, here we are at the slab. Excellent. This is really cool. There's all kinds of terrain on this. Um, kind of a little bit of everything. This is um, five and a half stars easy out of five. Pretty good. We were just moosy on down this here. Just looking back at that, that's super gnarly. Yeah, yeah. That was good. Oh, that was good. Not sure what the best angle to show what this looks like is, but I think this is it. Um, yeah, it's um, 
that's a near vertical wall of rock that I have to climb. But I down climbed it, so it means I can climb up it. Ladies and gentlemen, unnamed. I shall name you a pile of rocks. Peak number one, two, three, four on the day. Oh, five. Peak number five, right? One, two, three, five. Peak number five. That's, uh, that's a keeper. Full Monty's definitely a keeper. Beauty. Okay, I am back down. I did a very speedy descent. I basically ran the whole thing. I didn't want to film. I just wanted to enjoy. Uh, kind of slabby. Blisteringly warm in the sun today. Um, so definitely sunscreen again before I hop on the bike and ride the 40 minutes back to Canmore. Yay, I'm so looking forward to that. On the side of the Trans Canada Highway. So I guess that pretty much sums that up. So if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, um, please leave them in the comment section down below. Um, there'll be a bunch of videos somewhere around here you can check out with other scrambles I've done um, and other adventures on this particular trip. And thumbs up are also greatly appreciated. Uh, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one.